Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, Wilder and I are headed to a doctor's appointment just to check on the new baby. Sorry if the camera is wobbling, I really need to get a mount for the car. But yeah, we are on the way to the appointment. The new doctor that I go to is about an hour away, so this should be pretty interesting because Wilder hates the car and of course we are solo today garrick is working but i do plan on going to see him um since i'm going in the area that he's working i plan on going by and stopping by and saying hi maybe bringing him some like hot chocolate or something because it's freezing today and he's working outside so if i have some time after this appointment i definitely want to stop by and see my little juice also, I wanted to touch base on something. I've gotten a few comments lately asking what's in my mouth, like what's in my on my lip, because I guess sometimes when I talk, you can notice that there's something on the inside of my lower lip, which it is a tattoo for those of you asking, and it is Garrick's initials. I got it probably about three years ago, and yeah, that's what that is. Sometimes you can notice it whenever I'm talking. I just thought I would clarify that why I was thinking about it. Whew. It's a lot getting one child out of the house by yourself. I think it's definitely gonna take some getting used to getting two kids out of the house for sure. But I seriously cannot wait. I am going to this appointment. I'm not really sure what they're doing. I think it's just like a basic checkup. I hope it is because obviously Wilder is with me and they had to do like an ultrasound or something. I don't know how that would work, but anyways, I'm excited to go and just get out of the house really and check on the new baby and get Wilder out of the house too. It is freezing cold today, but it feels kind of nice because the weather here in Florida is literally always hot. I feel super bad for Garrick though because he is working in the cold. <coughs> Bless you. Something is really pulling at my heartstrings today. I just feel so bad for the people that are still being affected by Hurricane Michael in our area. It just really hurts my heart even thinking about it because I can't imagine being in that place. I'm just, I'm so grateful for what we have and so thankful that our house is intact there's just so many people that are still struggling and you know it's not shown on the news and stuff so people have kind of forgot about it and it's definitely should not be forgotten about because there's so many people freezing right now in their tents with their kids and it just i can't even talk about it anymore or i'm gonna cry i can't even imagine wilder what did you say? I miss you. I wish I could sit back there with you, buddy. I think I'm gonna stop by Chick-fil-A or something and get something to eat. Wilder had a lot of fruit before we left, but I'm gonna grab him something to eat also. What are you saying back there, Diddy? Da, da, da. I really miss Garrick in times like this because I just wish that he could come with me to all of my appointments and just experience everything with me, but I know that that's not always how life works and he has to work. I love you, Dirty. I love you. I also have Cameron's formula, so maybe we'll get together and I can give her her formula and I can see her for a minute. You could use your blinker, dude. That was rude. Okay, so I'm literally such an idiot. I don't have an appointment today, and on the way there, I was literally like 15 minutes away, and something told me like, do you even have an appointment today? So I called to make sure, and they're like, no, you don't have an appointment today, it's next week. So, that's good. But I am at Dunkin' Donuts right now, um, getting Garrick a hot chocolate. Hey, could I have two medium hot chocolates? Thank you. I think Garrick has a co-worker with him, so I'm gonna get two hot chocolates just in case he wants one as well. Wilder is being so good, like he has not fussed at all. I told you guys in the beginning of this vlog that he does not do good in car rides. He really doesn't do good in car rides, but I think, I think he fell asleep for half the time, so 
he hasn't fussed at all. Okay, so I am about five minutes away from him, so. Whoa! <laughs> that is why I need a freaking mount, like so bad. Wilder, you're being so good. Mommy's so proud of you. I think what we're gonna do instead is walk around, <laughs> walk around our local like outside mall, and I'm gonna check Carter's because one of my friends recommended to go to Carter's to see if they have any like gender neutral stuff. Here we go, I spoke too soon. It's okay, buddy. We're gonna go see Dada. I got you some hot chocolate, babe. You did? Mm -hmm. Thank got, you, God. I got him some too. I didn't know if he was- Tyler? Ready. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thank you, thank you, babe. Garrick is just unloading some stuff out of his truck. And so we're just waiting to say goodbye, huh? It's super cold out here, huh? You're not used to this. Okay, so we are finally headed into uh, Carter's because I'm on the hunt for some freaking baby clothes. to lose a shoe I have no idea where it is um, it might be in the car I don't know but and he took his socks off I'm surprised the other shoe isn't off already but exciting news we did find a few things in Carter's like a few gender neutral things so that's nice now I'm headed into Old Navy to see what kind of newborn clothes they have all right so we're leaving with no shoe, no sock, don't know where they went. What happened to your shoes? What happened? <laughs> You're so silly. Update, found the shoe, that's good. Got the sock, that's good. Got everything in the car. I really forget how much it takes whenever you're pregnant and like lugging everything around without Garrick. I forget how much effort it is, <laughs> but we're in the car, got the heat on. And we are on the way home and Garrick's on the way home so we are gonna go meet him at home. And I will show you guys everything that we got whenever we get there. <sighs> I'm out of breath. This has seriously got to be such a relatable moment but I'm home now and I don't know whether or not to wake Wilder up and transition or try to transition him into his crib or just sit here for a little while and let him nap. Garrick isn't home yet so I might just sit here until he gets home uh, i never know what to do i hate to wake him from his sleep he's really grumpy when he wakes up from a nap and like he hasn't had enough rest and he like just fell asleep like 10 minutes ago so and i have to pee like really really bad the struggle is real and why didn't y'all tell me i had something on my face road transitioning him into his crib didn't work as we planned huh you're up and you want to run. Go run. <laughs> run and play. Okay, so really quickly I wanted to show you guys what I got while we were out and about. So I'll start off with Old Navy. We didn't get anything for the new baby at Old Navy, I don't think, because they didn't have a good selection at all. I don't know what it is, but now that I'm like on the hunt for gender neutral stuff, I can't find anything that I like. But I did find some cute things for Wilder because they had a sale going on. I think like everything is 40% off. So if you guys have an Old Navy near you, I'll go check them out. But I got this little flannel. Garrick and I are super into flannels um, during winter time. So I'm really excited for that. I love that flannel. And then he needed some new jeans. You okay? I really liked these dark washed color jeans, so we got these as well. What are you doing? And then this is like Garrick's aesthetic. This is just had Garrick written all over it. And so I got it and I showed it to Garrick. He's like, oh my gosh, I love that. I was like, 
I know. Then for Christmas, I got him this little shirt. It says Believe. It has a little Santa on it. Super cute. Now from Carter's, they didn't even have a very good selection of gender neutral stuff either. But I did pick up two things from there. And one is just this little onesie. It's newborn size, but it looks a little big. I don't know. I remember with Wilder, we brought a bunch of newborn clothes, obviously, to the hospital, and everything was so big on him. And then I got just this little set of onesies. We really don't like buttons, but I feel like everything was buttons except for this. This is the only thing that had zippers on it. This set came with three onesies. This onesie, I don't know how well that picks up on the camera, but just has a bunch of words on it says cute sunshine love you adorable dream sweet happy and then just a gray and white striped onesie and then a onesie with some clouds on it just gender neutral onesies that we're going to need obviously we're going to need a lot more and i think i'm going to try to check out target again we've checked walmart and stuff but we just can't find anything that we like. Yeah, those are the only really gender neutral clothes that I picked up today that I liked. So that's everything. Wilder did really good while we were out and about, didn't you? You did really good, mommy's so proud of you. Yeah, mommy's really proud of you. And we didn't even lose a shoe. Well, we lost it, but we found it. And we just set up his little water table. My grandma got him a little water table. I'll show you guys. So that is the water table, and he's been super interested in just the box. <laughs> I'm sure he'll like it a lot more once we actually put the water in it, but of course now it's freezing, so we don't want to put it outside and put water in it because it's so cold out, but... Hopefully, I think it's going to get a little bit warmer, Yark said, maybe next week. So, hopefully we'll get some use out of it. I know you can put sand in it, too. So, that would be so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy loves you. Chew with your mouth closed. Manners. Yeah, good boy. So now I am in the bath, obviously, as you guys can tell. Um, and Garrick is downstairs cooking dinner and being so lovely. He's down there with Wilder playing with him and cooking dinner. So I could just relax for a minute and take a bath. But anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on what I was doing. I showed you guys like the razor things that I got a few days ago and I really need to put them babies to use. I'm so bad with brows, like literally so bad. I need someone to come and like teach me how to, how to brow. Because that's like the trendy thing and I don't know how to do it. Hashtag mom life. I am seriously so thankful for Garrick because he always does the cooking. I do a lot of the cleaning, but I mean, he comes home from work and he cooks and a lot of the time he'll just clean up afterwards and it's just so nice to be able to have him and like, I don't even have to ask like, babe, will you cook dinner or babe, will you do this? I mean, he's not the best at cleaning, but I mean, he puts forth effort and he cooks every single night because he likes to and I feel like teenage pregnancy is like super stereotypical and you know guys his age don't do that type of thing so I'm just glad that we're not a stereotype at all and I'm really really thankful for him and I wonder what he's cooking because y'all already know I'm starving I'm always so hungry this angle is not a good look for me Wilder, I used your bubble bath, I'm sorry. Garrick just said, babe, dinner's ready. So I am getting out of this bath right now.
back. That was a failed opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> And go, go get you. And go, go get you. <laughs> that is like his new favorite thing is just plopping down on the floor. It's super cute. You're so silly. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> Are you just gonna lay there? Yeah. I'm gonna get you. You can't get me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep doing that? You're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> Look on his face. <laughs> he started laughing too. That was so funny. <laughs> oh my God. It was like he knew he was stuck, but it's hilarious. Like he, that was so funny. <laughs> He's like, Dad, stop laughing at me. This is my favorite time of the day. Whenever he is playing because he's so delirious like by this time so he's so funny <laughs> okay so zoe is down there getting a mochi ice cream they're really pronounced mochi ice cream okay guys i'm ending this vlog so if you like this video hit the like button hit the notification bell hit the subscribe do all three of those things normally people say it in a better order but do that see you in the next one